These soldiers are lined up in a group with their gas masks on. And they are walking into a sealed tent. After a few minutes in the dark, they emerge from the tent with watery eyes and a runny nose. What they just experienced was a chemical biological agent known as CS gas, which is a form of tear gas. This is gas chamber training that soldiers from the 35th Combat Sustainment Support Battalion conducted at Camp Fuji in order to build confidence in their M50 protective mask. When you take off the mask, it does burn your forehead and you know your eyes and your nose and your mouth and your lungs and all of that stuff. It's bad. It's not the most fun I've had in the Army. Before going inside the chamber, the soldiers received guidance from instructors on how to properly put on the mask in order to protect themselves from the gas. The 35th CSSB, we are building readiness and getting back to the basics. Combat readiness can only happen when you're doing stuff like we're doing today. Gas chamber training is one of the requirements soldiers must go through during basic training. The 35th CSSB aims to re-familiarize its soldiers with basic skills like this and others so that they will be able to use them in a larger scale exercise they're planning to conduct later this year. Coupler Taylor Reed, a military working dog handler assigned to the battalion, says the training was a good refresher, especially considering what his job is. I think this is important for any soldier, not just me as a dog handler. You need to be doing these things because you have that extra pal with you that makes things difficult because I doubt they're sitting still when a lot of things are going on. And we train as we fight. Building that confidence in your equipment ensures that you know if you go to a contaminated environment, your equipment works. When it's time to don your M50 mask, you know it will provide the protection that you need. Reporting for US Army Garrison Japan, I can't stop I'm Aya Watsuji.